All right. Welcome back, friends. Uh, we are here for our special edition of the Ode Chronicles, uh, where we get to know uh, the 2021 Ode to Laz Backyard Style Ultra Marathon event, uh, our race runners, and, um, and the competition, basically. I just want to know who you are and who I got to beat, right? So um, we are here tonight with Jeremy Epley. Did I say that right? Right. Yes. Okay, two for two today. Um, and Jeremy is joining us from sunny Arizona, which looks lovely. And um, I, tell me a little bit about yourself. What is bringing you to Michigan for our event? And what's your background in running? All right. Um, I'm Jeremy Epley. I'm originally from Canton, Michigan. So every summer I try to come back to Michigan. This year, it just happened to, uh, you know, look through Ultra Sign Up. I saw that uh, you guys had your race going. I love the backyard format, so it was a great opportunity to jump in on that. Um, my background, you said background was the other question. Um, yeah, background and running. What, what got you into uh, backyards? Um, well, the backyards, it just happened to be, I mean, bigs, obviously, everyone sees. I mean, and then you get all, all these other ones going. Uh, my first opportunity, I've done two now. One was a little bit different style, though. It was the Across the Years version where they did one mile every 15 minutes. Oh. That one was definitely a little rougher because your downtime is a lot different. It's, it's a lot different pacing on that one. Yeah. That's, I didn't even know that existed. I, I think that might have been the only time that was ever run in that format. <laughs> And then they were like, we're done with that. <laughs> Nobody will sign up for it ever again. <laughs> they, they still had some people that did fairly well in that. Um, wow. they, over 100 in that. Okay. And then I um, Lone Cactus this year as well. Or this past year, I did the Lone Cactus, uh, the actual in-person one. Okay. Awesome. So, and is yeah. it a traditional backyard style then? That one, that one was traditional. Um, okay. There was a lot of competing via Zoom and other other formats as well, but we did have a good handful out there competing uh, okay. in person. That's awesome. Well, uh, we're excited for you to come out. Is this going to be your first Ode to Laz? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Very much. Awesome. So, you know, I guess, what are your expectations? Have you been, uh, have you been able to talk to any of, uh, anybody about what the loop is like? What are, what are you thinking is going to happen out there? <laughs> Um, I, I know it's going to be full of pain by the end of it, okay. um, no matter, no matter what. I, I mean, I know what to expect during any ultra, of course. Yeah. Um, your course, all I've really seen is the videos. I've seen a little bit of the videos you guys put out, you know, just to see the course preview, just to get a little idea. Okay. I don't like to go blind, but I mean, really it's going to be that first loop out there is going to be my loop to really assess where I need to be speed wise, you know? Yeah got so much time it's just figuring out where i need to be walking and all that on that first couple of loops kind of gauging that it's yeah. really the way to go um yeah. i'm hoping you know i've done and I, I was disappointed those first couple where I, i've gone about where did i go 16 yards in this last one okay um and that's what i think i put down for my minimum on yours okay just based on my previous history i i very much would hope that's accomplishable yeah and want to keep on pushing i want to see what i can actually do out there nice yeah i'm afraid well, uh, of your say that again afraid of the humidity out there though i haven't run where it's humid in a long time i was just gonna say you're probably well acclimated to heat but it might be a little uh might be a little damp <laughs> for you <laughs> it's feel like swimming compared to this right. um it's it's 106 right now out here with six percent humidity so oh my gosh okay <laughs> Well, we, we've had some hot temperatures out here this week. Uh, it's been in the mid-90s, and which is kind of unusual for the beginning of June. And, um, you know, so who knows what it'll be like in July. We could see kind of a similar thing, or maybe we'll have a lucky cool week or something. Um, but, but yeah, you know, it, um, it, just be ready for that. That might be the, the hardest piece for you have you run um trails much in michigan when you used to live in canton when i lived in canton i did high school cross country okay so experience with running there but i mean that was God, over 20 years ago now okay. so it's been a little while yeah My feet, the, the roots the you know 
it's very much different what I'm going to be looking at my feet for, you know? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Instead of watching out for snakes, you're going to be watching out for those roots. <laughs> so <laughs> we might have some snakes too, but not poisonous ones like you guys got out there. <laughs> so, yep. so you said 16 yards you're hoping for. Um, what would you say is your greatest strength when it comes to competing in these ultra events? Uh, that is going to help you achieve your goal? Greatest strength? <sighs> like, are you a pro at, like, zoning out? Are you... I, can, <laughs> I can zone out well. I also very good with just kind of, when I can find someone to pair up with out there and latch on, and just, that's that's my good way of zoning out. Not just zoning out my own head. Okay those people out there that you just get along with and you know the ultra community every race you're going to find all everyone everyone out there you know yeah it's, it's an amazing people and you just get sucked into those conversations and sucked into those those friendships out there that just it's great that's what gets me through those well that's good because we have a lot of chatty runners so you will not be uh at a loss for conversation during our event you will, you will have someone to talk to you if you want to go 50 yards. <laughs> so <laughs> there'll be somebody there, I'm sure. Um, do you, are you going to be coming with a crew or are you self-crewing? No, I'm bringing, my, my family will be coming out with me. And then also I got my cousin who's from Marshall. He's going to come out and he's going to run. He's never run anything beyond a marathon before. Okay. So um, coming out there, I don't know what his goals are yet. Um, I'm hoping to get him to push for at least a 50 K just to, I've been trying to convince him, show him that, you know, it's ultra running's not just because it's beyond a marathon doesn't mean that it's not, you know, you can accomplish it. I mean, it's very, yeah. very accomplishable. Yeah. And, and, so, and that's a nice, um, progression if he's, if he, if he has done marathon, you know, particularly trail marathon before, you know, this is a nice loop to get that 50K at. So I definitely think it's attainable. Okay. We'll just, we'll, we'll just push him along. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, I plan on pushing him. As long as, he, as long as he comes back on time, he's going to have to go out for another loop. <laughs> exactly. Right. Um, has your training been different comparing, uh, you know, traditional ultra marathon events to the backyard. Have you done anything different with, with trying to prepare for backyard style? I think, I, I think I do a little bit kind of just naturally the way my day is split up and the way I am able to get out and run. I have to kind of hit some short little gaps anyways to get out there. So okay. instead of getting long runs, my long run day is sometimes days where I just get out there four separate hours for, you know, a handful of miles each time okay. so I, I my running is geared towards that backyard style already okay perfect yeah and yes if you're doing multiple runs in one day you know multiple short runs in one day those last couple runs at the end of the day you're already on kind of tired legs so you know that that probably mimics pretty well uh you know the the traditional back-to-back -back long run um, that's, that's smart. That's smart. I know I've talked to some other people who have been doing morning run and evening run and doing, you know, shorter miles each day to kind of do the same thing. Cause yeah, everybody, I don't know if it's with the, you know, back to work from COVID thing that, that everybody is slammed and like super busy right now. So it's getting hard for people to squeeze in their training. That, that end, and it gets really hot during the day. So if you can split up the, the miles, you know, that helps. So I'm glad to hear that you're doing that. I, and I, I can't wait to ask you later on uh, after our event if you feel like that, that tactic was, um, was helpful for you. So um, do you have a celebrity running crush? <laughs> Not it's really. Male or female. <laughs> oh, oh. Who do you, who do you, uh, who have you YouTubed like a bazillion times? Because I know you have. <laughs> Not so much YouTube. I mean, I, I follow plenty of runners on Instagram. Okay. Um, and like 
the big ones I'm always checking. I mean, the guys that are running the big races, and you know, I'm always watching your Walmsleys, your Sensemans, those guys out there up in flag that are just doing amazing achievements. Yeah. Uh, you know, your Courtney DeWalt. I mean, all your all your famous ones that everyone's following. Yeah, yeah. Um, if if you had to uh, if you had to invite one of those pros to our event, who would you love to run with and pick their brain? Honestly, just to run with and pick their brain. And it's, you know, it's not even, I guess, a runner in a traditional sense, but uh, he does do the ultra. It would be David Goggins. Okay. I'd love to see how Goggins does in a backyard format. Okay. Is he, I don't, I don't know his name, but is he doing more traditional ultras then? He does ultras. He does. He's done the, the Moab 240. He's, okay. he's a still though, who's a big, you know, motivational guy. And, um, you know, he, he's, he would definitely be amazing to pick his brain out there. Okay. All right. I'll have to remember that when I'm, when I'm reaching out to the celebs, <laughs> to oh. come, come join our race. Right. <laughs> that would um, definitely cut people out. Right, wouldn't that it? Wouldn't that be crazy? I know it would. It would psych people out for sure. So, um, if you had to choose between goos or gels, which one would you choose? Um, probably goo. Okay. Uh, All right. Uh, burgers or hot dogs? Burgers. Okay. And where is your favorite place to train? Uh, do you have a favorite trail nearby that uh, where you live? Um, my favorite place to train would probably be just um just the Sonoida Creek. I've got a I've got a trail right right down below me back there that kind okay. of runs. That um, it's a good one for running in. Nice. Not too, but it's it's a good one. Okay. Awesome. Well, um, you know, my, uh, my timer never started, <laughs> so let's do, I think we probably got one more question, probably just based on, based on my inner clock here. Um, have you, let's see, has there been a favorite ultra event that you've run? It doesn't have to be backyard style. Um, any event that you've done before that you uh, go back to, you know, every year or that you would love to return to? Um, scenery wise, I would say Black Canyon Ultra. Okay. Is a, and is then that, in is that in Arizona? That's in Arizona. Okay. That's uh, mixed area. Okay. And in terms of like just cool people to hang out with would be there's there's this one called the nardini series it's a series of timed events that they have up in uh the phoenix area as well okay. it's three a year and it's you know your six 12 24 hour races on a very small course and it's just such a great group of people out there that no matter how many of these repetitive loops you're doing it's just fun no matter what because it's such a good group of people out there oh good all right well, I've, I've got a, uh, a cousin and an uncle who both live in Arizona and my grandpa winters out there. So next time I'm in the Phoenix area, I'm going to try to coordinate with, uh, with some of your favorites there. So oh, for sure. I don't know. It might not be in the summer, though. I don't think I can run when it's 106 degrees out. <laughs> no, most, most of our races are more wintertime down here. So Okay, good, good. Well, um, I think we're going to wrap it up, and uh, I really appreciate you coming on with me, Jeremy. I know your schedule has been busy uh, as well, you know, and and thanks for taking the time to um, to come let everybody get to know you and to meet the competition. Um, I look forward to meeting you and your family uh, in July, and we'll have some good conversations. If, if you had one, one topic that you could talk all day about and it's not running uh what would that be <laughs> yeah took it away right there yeah i know can't be running because we that's what we all talk about <laughs> what else do i talk i don't know what else i talk about i mean i what, just what other hobbies do you have i guess it's gonna be like probably video games i mean i play okay. video games, so i mean maybe that i can talk some zelda <laughs> <laughs> I play 
out with my kid and a little bit more more modern than for than uh, Zelda now. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, fair enough. We can find someone to hook you up with that does that plays those too. I think so. Cool. All right, Jeremy. Well, you have an awesome night, and um, do me a favor. Send me a picture of yourself uh, in ho hopefully of your face, <laughs> including your okay. face. And uh, email that to me because that will be our cover for your episode. Uh, gotcha. All right, Good. and uh, and I think you can uh, look forward to seeing uh, your fifteen minutes of fame up in the next week or so. So sounds good. All right. Well, thank you. All right, you're welcome. Happy training, and I'll see you in a month. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Okay. See you. Bye. Bye.